Alright guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your host, um, Classic Games United, back with another tutorial. Try to make things easy for y'all. So today I'm going to show you how to um, set up a PS2 network um, on the PC SX2 emulator, right? Now, this is not easy and even even though if you download a um, network and configuration um, um, ISO image, it probably wouldn't work because I tried that already and it didn't work. So what will really work is if you have a game that uses the network configuration tool you can use that to set up a server for all other um, games all right so we will use jack x combat racing today to set up a network configuration tool for all other ps2 games right so um you all stay tuned and, and let's get into this tutorial right all right guys we're back in jack right and in order to set up a uh, ps2 network um to play games across all ps2 games that have the ps2 network you will have to go to exhibition on the right but you will see no suitable network hardware was detected you will be unable to play on the right that because we didn't set up a network in the ps2 emulator right so right now we have to go back to the ps2 emulator and set up a network right so let's set up a network and then i'll be back right and you will see that it will now work right hold on all right guys so we're back right so we're gonna start the ps2 emulator all right and go to systems or you can go to settings go to network right click enable click enable all right select pc cap bridge and i'm on wi-fi right so select wi-fi and yeah i think everything should be set up here all right and you could just click close right so once you go back in the game now the network will now come online in the game right but i already made a network but i will make over one from scratch to show you how it's done right so once you're done that let's close that off and let's get back into the game and hey guys we're back in the game so now when we go into exhibition and online it should work because we because we set up the um, network adapter in the pcsx2 emulator so it should work now and once you go online voila see it works but um i will have to um delete this and do it over so to show you how to set up everything right so I'm just gonna delete it Right, let me card one. All right, guys. So, the first step is to go to add settings. Right, add settings, choose memory card slot one. Okay, um, this is your network adapter here. So, se select this. This is your network adap adapter. Select it and uh, not required. Don't select not required, right? All right, guys. Just so you're selecting auto for this one, right? IP set the IP address automatically. Set auto, and then you go down here. Select manual, right? You select manual, right? So remember, this one is auto, and this is manual, right? and then you enter the um address which is um the primary address which is um 45 45 45 7 no guys 45 7 um two two twenty eight right two twenty eight and one nine seven all 
all right click ok and that should be it leave the secondary address blank and then select a name for your network um select um you can put any name you want i will put um classic Classic games, right? I don't have to put in. I'll put um, classic games, and I will just go and click on enter, right? That's my name, classic games, right? So make sure that you um, get that. My name is classic games, right? I'm just gonna screenshot that so I remember. And I'm gonna go back now. So we could go forward, click um yeah, and yeah, and then click OK, right? Click OK, and it's just set up everything for you. Do you want to test the connection? Test it. connection was successfully returned to the network right so the connection was um, successful guys and so back and guys we'll be back right we'll be back I guys we back right but the um network wouldn't work for this game so we will test it on um um call of duty 3 right it wouldn't really work here but we will test on call of duty 3 we're gonna have we're gonna we're gonna get an error here there was no response right so we will go into the next game and test it out we'll go into call of duty 3 ps2 version and test it out and i'll be back right guys so stay tuned and i'll be back guys if you try to start the game using the disc all right if you try to start the game using the disc which i will show you right here right if you start if you start if you use the if you start the game using the disc you're gonna have some um some problems with the network right which i will show you here right you see the disc here right you see the game disc you see the game disc right uh, i'm gonna start the game through the game disc start the disc select um e and then um you will see what will happen right Just adding in this part for you guys. Alright. The game is starting up as you can see. Sorry for not showing the screen good. Try my best. I just want to show you all something. If you start it through the disc, it will not work. I press start. I go to multiplayer. Right. And you will see the error that will come up right there because the network is not set on the game itself. Alright. And I had forgotten this part, but now I remember, so I'll be able to fix it. So in case I start the game through the disc. See? Could not set network cables that because we started the game through the disc and it's not set up properly the game is not set up on the network so guys i'm going to fix this for you now so we'll have to download the game iso go to properties in the game and set, set up the network right so 
I'll be back. Guys, we are back, right? So, what you will do is download the game ISO. Download the ISO format. I will show you all. Um, I downloaded the ISO format and I put it in this folder. PS2 games. Alright. This is the ISO format of the game, right? As you can see, virtual clone drive, ISO. Alright. And then you will go to the game properties now. Go to network adapter. Now if I set it like this. Everything here will be grayed out and you wouldn't be able to change the PS2 address, right? So you will set it to PCAP bridged and then you will change the address, right? Just put in um, 228, alright? And sometimes, like for me, it didn't work for PCAP bridge, but it worked for um, sockets, right? But um, I will still try PCAP bridge and see if it will work with wi-fi right so this is everything that you need here guys and we'll go back in the game and see if it works right so going back into the game now and uh, gonna see if it will work right so i'll see you back in the game all right guys once you start the game you will see this error here no memory card inserted in memory card slot one just um go continue but if you continue without saving, then the game wouldn't work and you wouldn't be able to go online. So let me show you. Alright, you wouldn't be able to access the um the PS2 network because you haven't selected a memory card. So I'm gonna show you this now. As you will see, you wouldn't see the network adapter because you haven't selected a memory card. All right. Your net your network configuration file was not found. Please insert a memory card. All right. So we're gonna fix this error now, right? So hold on a while, and we're gonna fix this error. I'll be back. Alright guys, we're gonna fix that error now with the memory card. Go to properties, go to the game properties. Remember to click on the game. Right click, go to properties, go to memory cards and then select our memory card, right? Select both of them and you will just make sure you tick this one here. Tick memory card um port one and then you refresh it and then when you go back in the game now, the network adapter will show up, right? But um, as you can see here, the network is set to pick up bridge and that probably wouldn't work. So we will set it to um, use global setting so socket, right? If socket does not work for you, then try pick up bridge, right? Okay. So let's get into the game now. I'll be back. Hi right, guys, we are back. Memory card will show up now, as you can see. So now the memory card shows up. So we will be able to um, see the network adapter. So this is my um, profile here, right? Go to multiplayer. So when you now start up the game, you have just just create a profile and then you will get into the game. That's easy. But I'm gonna show you all now that the network adapter will show up, right? Guys, this tutorial wasn't easy to make. It was very hard. So please subscribe, right? So this is the network adapter here.
as you can see guys it's working at least it's working for me on the Wi-Fi when I try PC um, cap it was not working but it worked for this so those sessions found but guys at least it works at least it works and yeah maybe if you try the same um sessions for your friends it, it will be able to work but as you can see after all we try guys we was having a lot of errors and i fixed all the errors for you guys so guys please subscribe 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 so you can go here create your match uh game mode and you could start the game guys and then just gonna show you guys that it works you could actually go into the game so you, this is um the ps2 network working for the ps2 emulator all right select allies See guys everything works to you as you can see if you better subscribe guys it was not easy making this, this tutorial a lot of trials and errors guys and i showed you all how to fix every one of them right now if wi-fi does not work for, if wi-fi global wi-fi doesn't work for you try global pc cap all right that should work and others should be able to join your server all right but as for now wi-fi um global wi-fi works for me and yeah this is me here cgu classic games united in the game guys so please subscribe 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 i'm not begging you all but it was a lot of hard work guys to so record this tutorial putting everything together you know just for you guys have fun with your friends because this game i never played it before but I've, I've seen gameplays of it on youtube and it's a really good game the multiplayer is fun so guys everything is working well everything is working well everything is working well guys so hope that you all enjoy this tutorial and for more helpful tutorials subscribe to um classic games united and yeah i want to reach 10,000 subscribers at the end of this year and once i reach 10,000 subscribers i'm gonna do a big 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 giveaway to you guys maybe it could be a free game that i buy on steam and one put one lucky person could win that game or maybe another surprise but please subscribe guys to the channel and i will see you all guys in the next video to come take care and bye